Fonts bring personality to your designs, and most of us are pretty particular about the fonts we use, so it can be frustrating when we run into issues with getting them to work how we expect. I'm Erica Gamet, and in this video, we'll take a look at a couple of common issues you might run into, what might be causing them, and how to fix them. You can get the layout I'm using from Envato Elements, which gives you unlimited downloads of design assets, print templates, and of course, fonts. Subscribe now with the link in the description. We've all been there. We go to use our favorite font, and it's unavailable in the font menu. No matter how hard we look, we just can't see it. But we're 100% certain that we've loaded up the typeface in question. If you're in the font drop-down list, either in the control panel, the character panel, or the properties panel, and you don't see the font you're looking for, it may actually be that it's hiding elsewhere in the panel. For instance, the foundry's name sometimes comes before the type name itself, so it's not where you expect it to be. The easiest way to jump right to the necessary font is to start typing the part of the name you do know while you have the dropdown active. The one I want is Textron, so I'll start typing T, E, but that still gives me kind of a long list. Oh, but it's actually CA Textron, but typing CA might give me too many fonts. So I'd probably start with T, E, X, T, maybe add the next E, and there it is. Or you might get the dreaded pink highlighting or type name in brackets, which means it was assigned a font, but now that font's gone missing. If you've loaded fonts manually on your system, it may be that it was loaded incorrectly or that you didn't get the necessary style loaded. I have Textron loaded, but I don't have Textron heavy loaded, apparently. The first place you might check is the Adobe Fonts folder. On Windows, head to Program Files, Common Files, Adobe, Fonts. Here on my Mac, I'll go to Library, Application Support, Adobe, Fonts. You can just drag your fonts into this folder and they're immediately available. I'll drag CA Textron Heavy into the folder and now it's all fixed. You may have the magic document fonts folder from a packaged file in the same enclosing folder as your InDesign file. These fonts auto install when the document opens and uninstall when the document closes. Make sure the magic folder contains the fonts you need. If you use a font manager, make sure the font is set to active. If you're syncing with Adobe's type kit, sometimes that syncing fails, often unsyncing and resyncing works, or try restarting InDesign if necessary. Sometimes font files just go bad or stop working altogether. Some of us are using fonts from the previous century and it's a good bet those will stop working at some point. There's not much you can do to actually fix these. If you know where you got the font from, you might be able to download it again, and this goes for free or paid fonts. You could always do a search on fonts that are like my font or use a service such as Identifont or What the Font to find a nice substitution. Who knows, maybe you'll find a new favorite font. And there you go, just a few quick ways to overcome a case of a disappearing font. Subscribe to Envato Elements to access millions of creative digital assets and thousands of video courses and tutorials on Envato Tuts Plus. Subscribe now with the link in the description.